From your community, local news that matters. This is NBC6 News at 6. Good evening, I'm Brad Cesack. Dan and Jackie have the night off. Our top story, Governor John Bell Edwards visits Bossier Parish today to highlight a new law passed after a 2017 crash that injured a child who later died. That law, known as Katie Bug's Law, permits drug testing after serious traffic accidents. Because Katie Grantham died at the hospital and not at the scene, the driver responsible for the crash was not drug tested. This afternoon, Katie's family met with Governor Edwards at the Benton Courthouse. The Grantham family were advocates for this new law. They allowed their love for their daughter Katie uh, to motivate them to try to make sure that fewer individuals, fewer families and communities have to go through this again. And We're glad that we went through this process such that we can, we can have a different outcome for other families. Um, this, is, this is a loophole that had been in place for years and years, and there were a lot of people affected by it. The previous Louisiana law only allowed for post-accident drug testing when a collision resulted in an on-site fatality. Well, a $220 million bond proposal could go before Shreveport voters this fall. Proposer, proposal features recommended projects for the city council's consideration, including funds for public safety, streets, drainage, and parks. On July 23rd and August 13th, citizens can come to the city council to voice their concerns. The council is set to vote on August 13th whether to hold an election. The proposal calls for funding for a new central police station, and Mayor Perkins says the bond would not raise taxes. In other news, a Bossier City man is under arrest after authorities say he held his estranged wife at gunpoint last night. 29-year-old Justine McMutry faces several charges, including aggravated assault. The incident happened on Grand Lake Drive in the Legacy Subdivision. The Bossier Sheriff's Office says McMutry was taken into custody without incidents. Community matters in some areas in southwest Arkansas are still dealing with the effects of flooding from severe weather earlier this week. After hearing water was needed in some areas of Howard County, residents in Miller County sprung into action. NBC6's Jenna Jordan has the story. This is just one of the trailers Miller County residents have loaded up with bottled water to help their Arkansas neighbors in need. The bottles brought in response to a social media post Thursday night by Miller County Judge Kathy Harrison. Thank you, Jenna. Flying in the U.S. has become a challenge for a growing number of passengers. And that's in part because America's airports are old, crowded, and in need of major renovations. Phil LeBeau takes us to New Orleans, where the big project in the Big Easy is a new terminal to help handle a growing number of flights to the city. The big addition at New Orleans Airport is almost done. A billion dollar terminal with 35 gates and plenty of restaurants and space to handle. The Thanks, Phil. The brand new terminal in New Orleans has experienced a number of delays. Most recently, the grand opening was pushed back from May of this year. When the terminal finally opens later this year, officials say it will cap a five year project to handle more traffic. Well, the uh, lights, camera, and action of Hollywood make an appearance at an East Texas college this week. The annual Nate Parker Summer Film Institute is underway at Wiley College. More than 20 students have been in classes all week and started shooting a short film yesterday. Actor and director Nate Parker was on campus today working with students. To be able to use what I believe is uh, you know, a talent that's allowed me to tell the story of so many of my ancestors uh, and pass that on to young people who are aspiring filmmakers and artists is uh, probably the thing that makes me most proud about even being in this industry. They come in as strangers and leave with a film. Um, they put together a film from the very conception uh, all the way to the final product. Wiley's president also announced today the college will now have an accredited film and theater school. Well, coming up, as the temperatures rise, so does the risk of heat-related illnesses. How to make sure you and your family stay safe in the summer heat. Jesse?